Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakakadash. Double honor said, teachers are listening to parts of great most soon, likewise, brothers, so they're putting on the truth. Faith you fear to see, feeding the sheep and you, brothers and sisters. Tuning in, Shalom. Today's lesson is titled, Now What? Okay, so here we are now in 2024, okay, and as the apostles and other brothers have, you know, concluded is that this year should be a very interesting year. Okay, in particular for Great Babylon, America, you know, the things that are to take place uh, on this place, okay? And in particular, um, you can look at um, Yasharala, okay? Um, you know, certain things, some things that are happening is the, uh, the mass layoff that's coming this year. Um, you have a, a war that's building up out there in the Middle East, okay? And you have trials and tribulations that's going to escalate tremendously out here, okay? Everybody last night had their great time. You know, bringing in New Year's, you know, talk about their New Year's resolution. Okay, not understanding that we're getting one step closer to the return of our Lord. Mashiach, our King, our Malak, okay? This is the book of James 4 and 4. It says, Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, we have to live, we have to eat, we have to work, we have to pay bills, pay taxes, all those things here in Great Babylon, America, okay? That's, that's a must too. But, okay, if you fashion yourself after the world, okay, which is what we used to do before we came into this truth, okay, then you're an en 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 enemy, okay, of the Most High Yahweh Shai, okay, because you're putting all your trust, okay, into this place, okay? You're, you're looking to have the approval Okay, of the earthly gods, okay, which is Esau, the Edomite, the so called white man, and all these other nations too, okay, which is why you see Jake pretty much will do all kinds of like, you know, monkey dance and everything that Esau asks him to do just for the sake of having that pat on the shoulder from the so called white man. But the Lord despises that because he has already let us know that we are special people, a special people under him, okay, which means what? We only serve him, we don't serve, okay. The gods of this world, which you see, so the, the Edomite, the so-called white man. Let's go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, and so verse 14. It says, In righteousness shall thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Now, I think it was the brother from um, GMS Las Vegas that put up a video that shows all these deletions. You know, people being shot, you know, people, you know, getting hurt all for the sake of uh, celebrating one night going into another day, which, okay, it's January 1st, 2024. Now what? So what? Okay? Uh, if, you're, if, you're, <laughs> if you don't have the protection on you from your house by Shimei Ashai, which, you know, we as a hopefully lack are praying for, then basically it's just another day closer to your, to your demise, okay? And definitely closer to the demise of Great Babylon America, okay? And it says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Who else shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that blow the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument of for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Yahweh Shemashah, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord Yahweh Shemashah. So we understand, you know, this could be right, well, well, be the year that they start the persecution, okay, of the Hebrew Israelites, okay, in particular the men that go and sigh and cry on the highway and the byway, you know, um, you know, targeting us as, as uh, hate haters, okay, going against their system, okay, and they're gonna, they're gonna try to come after us more than they're probably going to go after just your average, you know, Edomite out there, your preppers and all those other people out there. Because they understand that those people, those people are, 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 are carnal. They're going to fight back violently. We are not going to fight back violently, okay? We leave it into the hands of Yahabah, Shimei Shai on exactly what is to take place. So if some of us are, got, are to be put to death, then that's just the way it's supposed to be. We still have that crown that the Yahabah Shai Mashiach said that he would give us, okay? If you're faithful. So it doesn't matter. Okay, so it's not a concern of any of the brothers that are doing this gospel or preaching this gospel or in the ministry. It's not a concern. Okay, it comes with the job. Okay, so the Lord has made it very clear to us that they can try to say what they want to say against us. They can come up against us with, 
you know, their earthly ways of getting us, you know, and you know they're going to use, Esau is going to use all kinds of technique right now. You saw T-Mobile right now saying that they're going to find people between 500 to $2,000 for what they call hate speech. How the hell a damn cell phone company could do that? Okay? So that means now you're texting and now you get fined. Okay? Where does Jake have $500 to pay for a fine? Okay? $2,000. So they're looking to come at us in a financial stance and make us even poorer than we really are already. Okay, and that's one way how they're going to try to quell and shut us up. Okay, but go ahead, devil. You do what you got to go do, okay? This is the book of Mark, chapter 10, starting with verse 17, and it reads, And when he had gone forth in the way, into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him and asked him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? Now, this is a Jake that was coming to the Mashiach back in the day. You know, he came all slick, you know, um, because we have Jake's them nowadays. They know. They know the Hebrew Israelites, but see, they're, they're unwilling to, you know, as the term used is what, give up the bike or whatever the case is like that. Or, you know, a better term to use is uh, to give up all of the uh, financial rewards or the rewards that come, okay, with being acclimated with our oppressor Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man that says, and Yahweh Shai said unto him, why callest thou me good? There's none good, but one that is God. Okay, so uh, Yahweh Shai already knew, okay, in his utter reincarnation that he had gone off, okay? And then he was here, okay, okay, to pay that price, okay? So he letting this man know there's only one that's good, okay? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the Almighty. <coughs> Continuing, it says, Thou knowest the commandments, do not commit adultery, do not, steal, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy father and mother, and he answered and said unto him, Master, all these have observed from my youth. Then Yahweh Shai, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way and sell whatever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. So, again, if you put all your trust into it, there's nothing wrong with having a good crib. There's nothing wrong with having a nice car. There's nothing wrong with having nice clothes. But if that's all you, if that's what you worship and that's what you put everything into, you 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 in for shit, man. Okay, okay. So this is what Esau is going to use against Jake. He's going to use okay materialism, okay, to to get Jake to bow down. This side of this side of so-called white man did that. When you go back three years ago during the uh, C19, what did they use? They used people's job and freedom to go places and do all those things, uh, all the things that they've been used to doing as a means to quell people into going and doing what? Rolling up their sleeve, okay? And this is what Esau is going to use. Esau is going to take that to the next level, okay? And that's going to weed out, okay, even some of the brothers that, uh, you know, that seem like they might seem hardcore in this, okay? What happens when Esau take your house, your car, and everything from you, okay? What happens, you know? So this man wasn't willing to give it all up, okay? And that's why... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I've been bedridden for the last 48 hours, um, so I'm just getting up. And um, then it says, And Yahweh Shai looked around about and said unto his disciple, How highly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Okay, so he knew that this man was full of crap. He came up to him all smooth, hey, you know, good master, hey, what can I do to get eternal life? But... Hey, when he was told, hey, you got you to gotta give up everything and, you know, take up your cross, get out there, teach, you know, do the work, you know, be like a pilgrim. He wasn't willing to go that way. So he said, talk is cheap, you know, talk is cheap. So that being said, okay, let's go into the book of Isaiah chapter 31. Okay, and verse 3, and it says, Now the Egyptians are man and not God, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord, the Habashim, shall stretch out his hands, both he that help it, shall fall, and he that's hoping shall fall, and they shall all fall together. So we can bring out, uh, we can bring out examples of this. IUIC, TD Jakes, you know, Creflo Dollar, and a whole host of these other ones out there. I mean, they really actually are helping the Egyptians, the so-called white man, okay, in diluting the minds of our people into believing, okay, that sweet white Jesus, okay, is their savior, and not an austere uh, so-called black man, okay, which is a true image of the Mashiach, and also of the Most High Yahweh Shai, okay? And this is the reason why there's no fear. There's no fear, okay? But that fear is going to come, okay? Um, and the Lord made it very clear, if you help them, okay, you too will fall, 
Esau can't protect you. Esau is not interested in protecting you. He will use you, then he will go on the ground while all hell breaking loose on top of the earth, okay, and try to wait it out. Of course, you know, pursuing the Jeremiah 16 and 16, we're going to find him and we're going to take him out of those holes, okay? But that's another lesson. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 29, starting with verse 25, and it says, The fear of man bringing a snare, but whoso put it, his trust in the Lord, the Habash Mashiach, shall be safe. So if you have a fear of, you know, Biden and the rest of these doggone, you know, Pecklewoods that are coming on the screen telling you what to do, you know, that you know you shouldn't do, like, let's say, back in the day, C-19. You know, when he leaned up on the screen, he goes, get, you know what I'm saying? And um, people, people literally shit their pants in there when they got it. Okay, but to us, that was laughable, all right? Because we had no intention of getting it. See, we're already poor. We ain't got shit to lose. All we have is to gain. We have the heavenly kingdom to gain. And it says, many see the ruler's favor, which we don't, but every man's judgment coming from the Lord, the Abba Everything that goes wrong in your life, the Lord, the Abba did it. Everything that goes right in your life, the Lord, the Abba did it. You're sick, he did it. You know, anything, you stub your toes, he did it. And we got to understand, people are going to need to understand that. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Shai controls good and evil. He rewards you and he punishes you. Okay, and it says, An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the way. <laughs> <coughs> so we are an abomination to the wicked. Why? They know it damn well. They can't get to us. It's useless for them even trying. We just can get more piss and put up more videos. If they try, okay, it makes no difference. This is the book of Joel 15, Psalm verse 20, it says, The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of years is hidden to the oppressor. A dreadful sound is in his ears, prosperity, the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return of darkness, he is waited for the sword. He wandered aboard for breath, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to battle. For he stretched out his hand against God and strained himself against the Almighty. Esau has got some serious trouble coming. For the first time we see right now, Great Babylon in America, okay, is being taunted by weaker nations. You have nations that are saying, come on, man, we're ready for you. They're fighting against this place. You've never even thought you'd ever see something like that. When you go back in 2001, all those other nations were like, oh, okay, terrorists. Blew up those buildings. Everybody was, you know, at that time, Great Babylon in America and Russia, the Medes, with kind of on friendly terms, okay? Now you don't see that happening right now. You get these nations that are saying, man, fuck you, man. You know? Because they're sick. They realize that there was no benefit, okay, in laying in bed with a whore. Okay, the whore has destroyed their life. So now they want to destroy the whore. And who's doing that? The Lord, the Habash, is putting it into these nations, okay, to do that. Despite all of the technological advancement of America and their military, their military defense system is archaic in comparison, okay, to that of the other nations that now have weapons that can penetrate through their um, defense system, hypersonic missiles. You know, they didn't think about that, but now they know, okay? This is uh, Proverbs chapter 3 and Stad verse 31, and it says, And be thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways, for the fraud is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh Shemashai, for a secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just, okay? So he will bless us. We are the just, okay? And he will curse the house of the wicked, okay? Which is Esau, the Edomite, the so-called white man. And that's why you see it right now. Nothing is going the way that they wanted to go. There was a time this man, you know, when they walked and they opened their mouth, when America opened their mouth, you heard the national anthem of the American national anthem. Everybody like, wow, America, America. Now everybody say, fuck America now. Okay? Even, even, even here in America, that's the spirit. Fuck America. Okay? This is Psalms chapter 62, Psalm verse 10. It says, trust not in oppression, become not being in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Again, the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh, I just brought it to you in Proverbs. Okay? In Proverbs um, 3. And it was what? Verse 3. Verse, uh, 33, it says, the curse of the Lord, Yahweh Shemesh is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just. So the Lord actually blessed you with some, you know, a little something to keep you going. You know, don't set your heart on it, you know. Don't set your heart on it. He blessed you, but you still have to do the work and you still have to, you know, you still have to maneuver, you know, um, in wisdom. 
Okay? And you still have to please him. Okay? You know? So let's close out here with the book of Isaiah chapter 3. It's now verse 1. Um, because this is what's coming. This is already here. See, right now, Esau, right now, at this point in time, he doesn't give two shits about Jake. So if he doesn't give two shits about Jake and he's getting to that point to where, obviously, more and more Jake's are waking up to the truth of who they are and is rebelling, you know, against the way the society runs, then Esau, all those, all those freebie shit, those, those are going to get cut off. And the Lord is going to cut, have Esau put the spirit of Esau to cut off all the freebie stuff, jobs, welfare, everything you can think of. Okay, it says, For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, Yahweh, Shemesh, I don't take away from Jerusalem and from Judah, the stay in the staff, the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water, the mighty man, the man of water, judge, the prophet, and the prudent, and the ancient, the, the captain of fifty, and the honorable man, and the counselor, and the cunning antisipher, and the eloquent orator. So it goes from top to bottom, smooth speaking guys like T.D. Jakes and Creflo Dollar, all the way down to you know, maybe somebody serving in the United States military, you know, or who might be consider himself a prophet. You know, when I say consider himself a prophet, I'm talking about those pastors in the church. You know, they consider themselves a prophet. Okay? Because remember, the Lord Yahweh Shemeshah said that he is going to do what? When the time comes, his prophets, his servants, his friends are going to eat, are going to drink, but the rest of them are going to be unhappy. Okay? They're going to be in derision. Okay, so it's not talking about us or oh, as part of the hopefully lack and those who are signing and crying and doing the work. It's talking about these ones, okay, that are having that, you know, what I call it, the um, pseudo-Babylonian type lifestyle, okay? So, Lord willing, hopefully that was satisfied. I'd like to close up by giving all going on to Tihah, by Shemesh, by Shemrakadash, that belongs to the teachers, elders, and the apostles of great Muslim, likewise, brothers, that they're putting out the truth. Faithfully, fearlessly, 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 fearless